Hi everyone, uh, this is Chris and I'm coming to you with another video. Uh, this video is going to steer away, I know I've been doing a lot of Tom Ford fragrances and uh, I have a lot more fragrances that I would like to touch on that I feel like don't get a lot of love and you know, they are really beautiful scents that are some of my favorites. So this one is actually discontinued. They did come out with the new line, which is now Eau de Parfum. These came out as a Colonia, I believe they are Eau de Cologne Concentré. So the, this is what I'm talking about here. This is Aqua di Parma's Sandello. Uh, this is the big, big bottle, so it's six fluid ounces. They are made in Italy. That's what the box looks like. And in the back, it has your barcode, where it's made, and all the information on it as to the fragrance itself. So once you open up the actual box, it's not like your traditional, you know, pop at the top or, you know, like the Tom Ford ones, you slip off or like Dior ones, you also slip off the top. And I believe Chanel does that too. These you actually open up like this. And they come in this beautiful, I don't believe this is silk, but I believe it's like satin. And they lay right in there. Beautiful for display purposes, uh, if you have room for it. I don't have room for it, so just, this guy just sits on the shelf and the box is in storage, you know, just because I like to keep things, I'm weird, so yeah, I keep all the boxes to, most of the boxes to the fragrance, unless it's a really ugly box, but yeah, it's a beautiful scent. So when you pull out the bottle, it's your traditional Aqua Department fragrance bottle. A sticker at the front, nothing on the back, and information about the fragrance at the bottom. It is an Italian brand. It is under the LVMH umbrella, so, you know, Dior, Givenchy, uh, those fragrances in Louis Vuitton are all part of this group, so. We're gonna spray it. So the interesting thing about this one versus the new one that came out, the new ones that came out, which is I believe Sandello Ombra, Guercia, Oud, uh, that are in the Eau de Parfum concentration, those are um, their own scent versus these are a adding a, you know, essentially a note to the Colonia, which is the original scent that they came out in 1913, I believe. So this is essentially it's you know just a reinterpretation that came out with the fragrance itself so it is one of my favorite ones uh, i would say out of this i do have a couple in this range so this one and um, another one called colonia ambra which is the amber version and um let's see what the notes are top notes you have bergamot i'm assuming it's um, from calabria then you have lemon at the top orange and pedigree so yeah i get all of those really uh then your heart notes are going to be cardamom and lavender interesting because i've never really picked up the lavender until i read the notes so yeah you do get lavender in this one it's not like your i don't know chemically lavender or a very strong lavender but it's there nonetheless um, and then your base notes are going to be indian sandalwood tonka bean and amber so it does have amber in it as well. It's interesting because I know the original Colonia has Turkish and Bulgarian rose in it, and this one doesn't have it in it. So again, it's the reinterpretation. It's grabbing the heart of the actual Colonia and essentially just, you know, reworking on it a little bit more. No name on perfumer, which is interesting. Um, but it is part of LVMH, so could be someone that, or one of the noses that works with LVMH such as, such as, not such as, uh, Francois de Machy and other ones. So I do like it a lot. The projection on this is good. So it will last. It's a beautiful summer, spring scent. You can also wear this in the fall. I did the mistake of purchasing them in, in the winter and they just did not perform well. Um, I do think that these will perform a lot better when it comes to, like I said, you know, spring and summer. Um, they are beautiful scents. Like I said, they don't tend to last very long, but that's to be expected with a Colonia or Cologne Concentre. And it is, it is one of my favorite ones from this house. I think it's probably, I'd say, 
the favorite one from this, you know, house of perfume. And I really do like the brand of Aqua de Parma. It's, you get niche quality, but it's not like breaking the bank like with some other ones that are, you know, niche out there as well. They don't get a lot of love, but I, I do think they should definitely. I mean, they bring high quality and great perfumery to the world. So yeah, I hope you like this video. Like and subscribe and uh, yeah, I'm so new to this. So I'm just trying to get as many things out there that I don't see that, you know, get a lot of love. So uh, have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye.